You know, Jarvis Landry turned down an $11 million contract from the Cleveland Browns, and I'm glad he did because I didn't even want to sign him at that. I wanted Jarvis Landry if I was going to take him back at $4 million a year at most. I didn't even want him back. So then he fires his agent, demands $20 million with a ridiculous amount of fucking emphasis on $20 million. And then he gets so desperate, he takes a $6 million contract from the New Orleans Saints, who must have been desperate. Now, he'll play better with New Orleans because they got a real quarterback in Jameis Winston. Conversely, Cleveland had a terrible quarterback in Baker Mayfield. So his numbers may be better. But Jarvis Landry is basically a dinosaur. I've been saying it for the past two years. He's a miniature tight end. Works the slot. Can't stretch the field. Can barely get open. No defensive coordinators. They don't court. They don't game plan for Jarvis Landry. They don't go into game plan. We got to stop Jarvis Landry. No, they throw their linebacker on and says cover him. Jarvis Landry is basically a dinosaur. When he came into the league, he was a good receiver. But the problem is the league has changed. The receivers in the last four or five years have gotten bigger, stronger, and faster. And Jarvis Landry, he stayed the same. He hasn't gotten bigger. He hasn't gotten stronger. And he hasn't gotten faster. In fact, last year he lost weight because he was trying to improve his quickness, and it didn't help him. He got injured. And you always had to worry about Jarvis doing something stupid. After he caught a ball, he's going to get a 15-yard penalty or something. So to me, he was a cancer. That speech he made on Hard Knocks was the corniest thing I've ever seen. The problem with Jarvis is he's not a terrible player. He's just not adequate at today's NFL standards for a wide receiver. He's Tyreek Hill's size, but half the, str half the speed of Tyreek Hill. That's it. He's just, he can't get open. And if the Browns were going to sign him at $4 million a year, I would have took him because, I mean, he's got some leadership capabilities, I guess. But I did not want him at $11 million a year. And I'm glad that he I'm glad he turned it down and went to the Saints. He's just one of them guys. Like I said, when he came to the league, the league was different. And it was only, what, six, seven years ago, but the league has changed. Odell Beckham. If Odell Beckham never had this injury history, he would still be a viable wide receiver. He would still be a number one receiver. The problem with Odell is, and I know he blamed the injury on the Browns not fixing it correctly, which the Browns should sue him because that's not the case. The problem with Odell Beckham is he is made of glass. That was a non-contact injury. He is just made of glass. His body, he's got the body of a 65-year-old cement worker. So with Odell Beckham's injury history, I wouldn't even take a chance on signing him, even though he's 10 times better than Landry. So Jarvis Landry basically demanded $20 million and it settled for $6 million. Now he wants to play again after this year. <laughs> There's no way. There is no way. Like I said, his numbers will be better in New Orleans from last year because he's got a real quarterback. But there is no team going against the Saints this year saying we got to watch Jarvis Landry. It's not happening. And I listen, I don't even hate Landry. He wasn't one of my favorite players. But I hope he plays good. I do. I don't hate him. But I'm just telling you facts. Jarvis, this ain't hate. This is facts. You're just a, a victim of your own circumstances. You're small. You're slow. And you're not fast. And you've stayed the same. Where all these other receivers are just big, strong, fast, dynamic. You're not a dynamic playmaker. And so Jarvis, when he demanded $20 million, I was laughing because I said he won't even get 10 And he didn't even get, what, six, six and a half? Someone said he signed for four million. I think it's six and a half. So anyway, thank God he didn't choose Cleveland. I see these Browns fans. Oh, we should have signed him. No, we shouldn't have. He's just taking up a fucking roster spot. Trust me when I tell you. So Jarvis Landry, listen, I'm not going to sit there and say I hate. I, I listen. I hope Jarvis Landry plays on the All Pro. I do. I hope he does. I don't even care. It's not going to affect me one way if he plays great because we didn't need him in Cleveland. It's just too small. He's not viable enough so i'm sure jarvis is going to see this video and he's going to think it's hate it ain't hate it's just i'm basically speaking facts jarvis you're not that player you were when you once came into the league and if you are that player the problem is all these other receivers are 10 times better than that player you were when you came into the league